Hi there, and welcome to Northern 49. We're Ollie and Tasha, and this is our story of creating our cabin on wheels. Our pop-up camper has taken us on countless adventures exploring the stunning landscapes of Alaska. When the canvas tour, it made us rethink our journey. We love our cabin and chase just as much as our travels, and we're always torn every weekend between the two. So we decided to bring our cabin life on the road. With each nail and board, we're transforming our pop-up camper into a cozy, mobile cabin that combines the best of both worlds. Join us on this heartfelt journey. Watch us as we bring our vision to life, creating a home on wheels that lets us enjoy the beauty of Alaska and the comfort of our cabin. This is Northern 49, where every mile is a story and every adventure feels like home. Welcome to our journey. There's always that one moment when everything you've worked on comes down to a single test. Today is that day. Looking good. We've spent countless hours transforming this camper into our dream cabin on wheels. And now it's time to find out if it's all been (laughs) worth it. No turning back. We're headed to the scale and honestly, we're a little nervous. A lot of you had doubts about whether it would be too heavy and your comments got us thinking. Could you guys be right? Well, there's only one way to find out. Let's see what we've got. Okay. All right, we're disconnected. The cabin's been weighed, and we have to hurry to get off the scale so that other people can get on, and we get to wait for the ticket with the results. We did it. <laughs> I love it. We did it. We're within our weight limitations by far. We are finally loaded. Rolling cabin is attached again to the car. We have everything in the rolling cabin and we got most of it in the car though. <laughs> now we're worried about the car. <laughs> yeah, is the car gonna hold all the weight? So we're just gonna head into the mountains up uh, Hatchers Pass. So uh, yeah, let's drive up. Get ready and then we'll eat and relax. Be a long day. Even though our cabin isn't quite finished, we couldn't pass up the chance to spend a night in Hatcher Pass. It's late, but we found the perfect spot and tomorrow's forecast is too good to miss. Good! We've invited our girls and our grandbaby to join us for a day of berry picking in the sun. Right there, looks level. We're so excited. Do the car just so that if you want to go hiking or go up towards the river or something, we can just go. Go back across this way, and we can unload you. Yeah. Well, we did it. We did it. Only took us how long now? Uh, 25 minutes? Yeah. From home? Yep. We're in the mountains. Woo! Nice. Nice level spot. We got a beautiful view, so we're going to have a sunny rise tomorrow morning over there. It's going to be fantastic. It could be good light in the cabin. Yep. And oh. Man, we should have brought a couple chickens. We need some more fresh eggs. <laughs> Anytime you park on a hill, <laughs> remember when you open the lid, stuff wants to come out. It's called gravity. Oh well. Good. good thing we brought a lot of eggs yeah. just for one day. We still got three, four good ones. Good. No. I do think that we should put this up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> At least just the nail out here so that when people come, yep. they can. It does better when it's hanging. Yeah. Or, when I'm up in the mountains, you can just grab it, go towards the mountains, just keep ringing. Yeah. And I go on top, Wahiti! <laughs> Lunch is ready. 
Yeah. Good old. I think you're starving. I am. I am really hungry. Good old jet boil. I, do, I told Vern how old this bottle was. It really is incredible. Because you don't really need a whole lot of gas when you do these kind of things, you know? Mm-hmm. Do you want anything? Um, I'm just here right now. I'll wait for some pop dogs. Okay. Is there anything else you want right now? Okay, because then I can get the charcoals ready. Okay. Fluid or an electric or chimney right. style starter. Stand back after lighting. Flames will die out. Okay, there we go. Look at this. Yep. It's called the Hattress Pass Hot Dog. <laughs> Perfect. We gotta move. It was wiggling his ear. Did you see that? Let's see if I can get in with a. After a quick bite, Ollie and I couldn't resist a short walk to the river. The scenery was stunning, and we even spotted a beaver and a moose along the way. Just another beautiful Alaskan evening. We're so thankful to live in this beautiful state. Waterfall? Yeah. Little one. Pretty clear water. Are you coming in? Coming in. How is it in there? I love it. Is it nice and cozy? Hello. I'm coming in. Wow. This feels good in here. Man, it is cozy it warm. It's getting a little cold though. I know. It's damp. Really damp yeah. out there right now, but it's just beautiful, you know? We'll get the bed made and it's going to be so amazing. Mm. I think we're going to sleep pretty good tonight. I think so too. Is it cozy? So cozy. <laughs> okay. A little cold though. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Bedtime. We'll see you all in the morning. Good night.
My goodness. <laughs> it's a matching pair. Maybe you got up after we went to bed and hiked all the way back and back again. <laughs> As we wake up to the smell of nature and fresh coffee, we can't help but soak in the view. It's morning like these that make us wish the day would never end. There's something magical about waking up in the heart of Alaska. It feels like we have the whole world at our doorstep. There you go. So we can get fresh air in there. Your chair should be dry now. I am hungry. Me too, and it smells delicious. It does. Do we have any greens or how about some fireweed? No? <laughs> I think it's ready for cheese. Good? Maybe a little more? Let's just turn it off now. I love that mozzarella cheese, it's so Me good. Me too. Gives it the flavor. I think that's enough, right? Yeah. <laughs> are not even here yet and I'm getting a little antsy so what I'm gonna do is now all I have is my gun and that's it and I'm gonna go try to find a little way up here and see how far I can get and how hard it is it's too beautiful to not go up there look at this look at this fireweed how tall it is and there's a lot of, uh, what are they called, nettles? So I don't know if this is really a good idea here. No. I'm going to find a different area to get up into the mountains. Look at this, how tall this is. I'm six foot three. That's the same height. It's too much of a work out in this heat. So we're gonna go try a different spot.
think that's as far as I'm gonna go. I'm quite a ways up here and we said we're gonna meet uh, back at the creek where the little bridge was. Did you try one? If they're good? Yeah, they're good. Some of them are tart. Mm. I would say they're good. <laughs> Come on, hop down and I'll hold you. Good job. Oh, look at that. You can go right here. Oh, that's good. Doesn't it feel good? <laughs> yeah. They're yummy, aren't they? Look at the light on. The lights are on? Look at that one, right? Oh yeah, they're on. <laughs> You're funny. It's not cold outside, but you can close it. Uh oh. It's been an amazing day filled with simple joys and unforgettable moments. We're so grateful to share these experiences with our loved ones. We'll always remember our first trip with the cabin and are so glad we took on this project. And we can't wait to share many more adventures with you all. If you enjoyed this journey, please like and subscribe. There's so much more to come.